I did a video on why self-esteem is the secret to success back in January and in today's video I wanted to delve in more on how self-esteem affects a human's life. Before we dive in, I would like to give you some perspective on how self-esteem or the importance of self-esteem has developed through the years and uh, how it has come to change. We human beings are social creatures and that is exactly the quality that made us dominant through the whole planet Earth. The social aspect of it includes cooperation, which was the biggest part of surviving and becoming fierce creatures. If we think back to our prehistoric days, one human being is really not worth a shit. Our physical capabilities are not that good compared to other creatures, other animals. So we had to figure out ways to survive. But having the greatest asset, a big brain, we've figured it out. We come to understand that our strength lies in quantity, which basically implies sharing different tasks between the members of a tribe. Not because I have a recollection of it, but I would like to make an educated guess. The life was simpler back then. You didn't have so many choices to make. And although people think that we have it better right now than we had then, it depends. Yeah, of course, we are living in more abundance right now. We have roof over the head, food on the table, we have security, we have governments taking care of us, ish. And what is the downside of this, you may ask? The psychological health is in the gutter. More and more people feel lonely, ending up experiencing existential crisis. And let me tell you, a huge part of it is having low self-esteem. Now I think it's a natural cause of human consciousness to evolve from one state to another. And I will delve into this a little bit later. What I'm trying to say that before we had very few options. Eat, sleep, hunt, gather and occasionally maybe take a dump. But now we're overflown by all this information, feeling very small and minuscule in the ocean of people. We lose sense of importance as we felt in those tribes, having specific tasks assigned to us. We knew that our contributions made a huge difference in a tribe. But now even though you have apartment, you have food on your table, you have roof over your head, you still feel lonely, feel lonely in a crowded place. Because it doesn't matter if you're there or you're not, society will keep going and keep evolving without you. Because if you are not there, somebody else will gladly take over your place. So before it was, um, I'm a human, you're a human, we coexist, we help each other, we like each other, we are building something up. And that is the sense of self-esteem then. And that's pretty much it. Being such a simplistic concept, it was very hard to disrupt it. No other colleagues to compare with, no social media accounts to be anxious of, no television telling you that you are not good if you don't own a lot of stuff. That's why those few tribesmen living in this day and age are the happiest people on earth. And now being one ant in a seven billion colony, you feel lost, you feel purposeless. And now you're trying to find your way by grabbing, elbowing, pushing aside people, trying to discover identity for yourself. The world is a much larger place right now than it was before. There's so much more to compete with. There's so much more to show up for. Your focus is scattered. You get lost in oblivion, not knowing how to handle yourself, how to handle the being. And that's how we end up defining our self-esteem according to outer factors. Compared to back then, there are so many ways to disrupt the self-esteem. Your parents don't have time to spend with you. You're insecure with your body by watching all these advertisements. You feel a less of a person by not owning a lot of stuff. You feel unappreciated, unloved, miserable, lonely. You feel small. As soon as you try to pick up your self-esteem by working on one area of your life, something else happens in another. You feel panic and you lose your control. And that pretty much becomes the circle of life. Not knowing who you are, working for somebody else all your life, 
and not discovering your true identity, your true self. And self-esteem being the core of your joy, your happiness. Being under attack all the time, you never feel whole. So bottom line, it's much more complicated to establish a healthy self-esteem today compared to what it was before. Because all of these distractions that were constantly subjected to, trying to bend your will, integrity, trying to make you to something that you aren't, trying to subdue you into servitude. Basically, self-esteem is the relationship between you and yourself. How you perceive yourself as human being, as a conscious creature, which has never been derived from outer factors, from outwardly things. And that includes things, outcomes, and people. I'm saying people because before we were dependent on others as being a member of a tribe. Maybe then it was okay to bond your self-esteem to your comrades. But today it's almost impossible because people come and go in a much higher frequency. Most of us don't live in villages with people that we will know our whole lives. Everything is moving in a fast pace. The world becomes your buffet and you have to learn to be on your own, to never define your self-esteem from other things that aren't inside of you. So your mission is to discover your true self, your true nature. And that is done by asking a lot of deep questions to yourself and answering to them very truthfully. If you want to know more, watch these videos. If something is unclear or you want to have more information on a certain topic about self-esteem or confidence, leave a comment. But for now, I am out.